Welcome to The Terrible Take, a daily segment telling Steeler Nation what's on our minds. I'm Melanie Friedlander. While the starting quarterback for the Pittsburgh Steelers will be determined by a training camp competition, the Cleveland Browns are waiting for the NFL commissioner, Roger Goodell, to make that decision for them. Deshaun Watson, traded to the Browns and gifted a $230 million fully guaranteed contract, will likely learn his fate soon. After negotiations between the league, the NFLPA, and Watson's representatives failed to provide a resolution they could all agree on, the NFL and the NFLPA will argue their cases before disciplinary officer Sue Robinson this Tuesday. The NFL is rumored to present an argument for an indefinite suspension with a minimum of one year, while the NFLPA will respond that no punishment is required in light of the way the league has looked the other way where team owners are concerned for similar violations. Examples include Robert Kraft, Jerry Jones, and Dan Snyder. There is actually a precedent for an indefinite suspension for a player who violates the personal conduct policy. In 2014, Baltimore Ravens running back Ray Rice was handed a two-game suspension following off-season arrest in Atlantic City for domestic violence. Both the league and the team downplayed it as an unfortunate mistake. Once TMZ released video showing Rice violently punching his now wife, fan reaction was forced the league to amend the ruling, suspending him indefinitely shortly after the Ravens released him. Rice's suspension was overturned in November of that year by a judge acting as an independent arbitrator, based on the argument that he had been subjected to double jeopardy and punished twice for the same crime. She found that the league overstepped their authority by changing the suspension after the video was made public. While Rice was cleared to return to play immediately, no team signed him and the 27-year-old running back never played another snap in the NFL. Watson's situation is obviously different from Rice's in several ways. There is no video to show fans what really happened. There are, however, many more alleged victims. But a quarterback has greater value to a team than most running backs entering their seventh season. And so even if Watson sits out an entire year, the Browns will likely welcome him back. Oh, and there's also that chunk of change they already spent on him. Based on their experience with the Ray Rice case, you can be sure the league wants to avoid another public relations disaster. They will want to get the first ruling right. And by right, I'm not claiming that Roger Goodell necessarily cares about the details of the case against Deshaun Watson. He is more likely focused on a discipline that will be accepted not just by the player and the team, but also by the public, because that's the only way he can hope to move past this. In the meantime, the other AFC North teams may not have to game plan for Deshaun Watson under center until 2023. That's my take. You can follow me on Twitter at Girl Surgeon. Check out The Terrible Take every day at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Follow us on SteelersDepot.com and check out The Terrible Podcast with Dave Bryan and Alex Kazora every Tuesday and Friday.